All right, chaps, welcome back. Daily dose of Battle Brothers. Here are the lads. Looking quite good, I think. Polom. Rabe, the Polom user. Do we switch in long axes? I think we probably do. Thing is, I need my archers to have bags and belts so they can carry the two extra stacks. But I don't think it's unreasonable to think that one stack of javelins and the net is going to going to do better. I'm loving all these direwolf armors. So good. Right, where, where, where are we? Patrolling the road to Harlingen. Okay, so we need to buy and sell five more trade goods. We're sitting on four, so literally just one more after this. Um, quick reminder, I do have my falcon, don't I? Where is it? There it is. Let's go take a look-see at what's in ruined dwellings. If not, we'll go hit those bandit bases. But the thing is, the two we have in vision... See, this is a forest fight as well, which I don't enjoy. Okay, 22 enemies. <laughs> That's the sound I was making after drinking tequila on my birthday. <laughs> oh, just have a tequila, Stubby. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, very doable. Oh, oh yes, please, fighting axe. Um, but both my bannermen. Whether we stay and fight, or, there we go. Good. Okay, we can do this. We can very much do this. We need whips for killing geists and for disarming fallen heroes the rest of the lads can just chop the zombies to pieces the whip boys it's their job to get the geists okay so it looks like the flanks are going to be under pressure in this fight but i kind of don't mind that really I think I might move the southern flank up into more like a, so the whole group is in like a round shape. Curses. I should have, I think, four whips. One, two, three. I believe one of the frontline boys also has one of the whips. There we go. One, two, three. Nice and evenly spaced as well. I think Vanda should probably swap places with Zvine. Because we're going to have more geists to deal with on the northern side of the, of the formation. But let's just see where they move to. They might not be there at the, at the end of this next turn. Vanda, I think. But just in the meantime, start moving. Are these nerds going to be in position? They are not. So just hold. Range lads and whip lads wait. Everybody else end in turn. And I believe that on this patrol, they're only paying for 20 heads, so this will do it. It's not one of the higher paying patrols we've been offered. Well, it says San, San Vone, San Vone. It's on you to kill that geist. Shot. I love how we can just pepper the enemy as they approach us. I 
I actually don't think it's worth using that fatigue. I'm gonna hang on to it. It's like whipping a zombie is kind of worthless. It's not worth the 30 fatigue. It's all about killing the geists. So I can whip here. Maybe I'll be okay not having to swap Zwine and Vander around, but I still reckon I want to do it. Two sixty-eights, both missed. Nice. Oh, go right shot. Reload or hit the bull hook. One, two, three. I think bull hook. But I've now actually attacked with Zvine. I should have moved him down. All my raise morale is on this side. So everyone here is vulnerable. Oh, that's right, zombies can only move two squares when they're on woodland forest floor. Oh, whip those naughty ghosts. Should we move forward one square? I think we should. I mean, if some of the frontline lads that use swords can get a lucky hit onto a ghost it's a kind of priceless yeah what was the hit chance 45 these things are so difficult to hit damn it I think I want to maintain oh damn that was stupid I should have moved forward And then Rabe needs to be in which position to be able to reap? I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to back the boys. Back the lads. Yes, Detelm. Oh, we needed that. God damn it, Heimrad. You need to be a brave boy. Hold, Rolston. It's gonna be on Vanda to rally Heimred. Oh yes, I left. Yes, and one. Okay, back in formation. Whips away, boys. Thick. Okay, at least it's not a plus accuracy weapon on Heimrad. And Heimrad's probably the weakest frontline lad. Block. Careful, I'm red. No! No! Fuck. Bloody morale. Okay, 
Okay, let's drop some dogs. I should have netted him because I could have knocked him away and that way Hamrad could have got away. That's a fail. I could switch to whip and try to disarm him. Is that the best chance of trying to keep this lad alive? Might be. And actually a dagger might be the best way to deal with the fallen hero because he's battle forged. He's going to be very tough to kill. Rangers, uh, rangers, the ranged lads are going to start throwing their javelins now, so we can expect some deeps. Malik, the one who has berserk, no, he's not. Big hairy. Oh, shit, he doesn't have underdog. I thought he had underdog. That's why I didn't drop the dog there to help him. But dropping a dog there pretty much sacrifices it. Shit. Mm, wait, let them come. So I can't use Razor Merrill this turn, but at least Heimrad should be close enough that I can raise his morale and then I can, I don't know, hand off, hand off the net, drop it on the floor, let Heimrad use it. Because Heimrad can't sit in the front line now. Yeah, and he's going to do less damage, so if you can just throw nets or maybe use the weapon, if we get lucky, he can disarm a nerd. Yeah, boy. Oh, I'm red. Yes, lad. Who's gonna take that spot there? I think it's probably fine if zombies go there, because we've got a lot of lads who can put damage down there. Expecting to lose a lot of dogs, but that's, you know, better than losing brothers. Zombo goes there, so this square isn't safe. I think we need help down on the southern side of the flank. And where can I go where I can reap with Rabe? Or oh, don't even bother. Just chop that zombie up. to have duelist. Okay, good work there by the Ow! Armor doing its thing. What's oh, a Heimrad? You need to wait until Sergeant Vander drops a few items for you. You got a weapon there again, good. And then, yep, just hold. Okay, so drop 
that on the ground. Drop that on the ground. Uh, Homerad can then rotate him, I think. better obviously the fallen heroes are the concern but we've actually put decent damage onto these lads especially the one with the fighting axe i so desperately want that axe i'd be thrilled to get my hands on it and can finally start putting some deeps out on the next turn. Yes, lad. Oh, I didn't drop the axe. Curses. I can at least grab his shield, but I don't have... I'll have to... I think I can swap it. No, I can't. Shit. Rip doggo. Brave dag. The brave, brave dag. clutch hit. There's that named pike doing that awesome, awesome armor damage. You just love to see it. Oh, that's right. No quick hands on the daggers yet. Curses. Okay, are we... At least he doesn't have his fighting axe. I mean, it sucks we don't get the fighting axe, but a little bit less dangerous, at least. Nah. Yes, Rabe. areas of concern. No, oh, you hate to see it. No, oh, one out of six dagger hits actually landed. Good doggo. Yes, Morgrim. for that headshot. It's 
it's gonna be nicer on these dagger lads once I have the Katal daggers for them to use. But the thing is though, like, it, it can be super useful to be able to switch between a Rondel or a Katal depending on the enemy you're fighting. Because if they have more armor, you go for the Katal, just to go through it. If you want a regular attack, like if you don't want to use uh, that uh, Pierce ability. But then I think you need quick hands to justify it, which I don't want to do, so... Probably just better off using Recover and then uh, using Pierce the whole time. Oof, almost. Yes. Are we? Clean him up and get out of here. This is Tull. Oh yeah, he's still comparatively low level. That's why he does not have recover yet. Well done, boys. Well done. All night tome. Silver bowl. The leather neck guard is nice, as is the padded kettle. Arming sword's always good, but we didn't get any of those tier 3 weapons, which is super disappointing. I truly wanted that fighting axe. It would have been so good. What a little fawn, Wildrich. Uh, shield spec. Rotation. He needs rotation anyway. Better off getting it now. So, Malik, the level 8 polearm user. Colossus is tempting. As his bags and belts to squeeze some more fatigue out, but he's got recover for that. I think we can take Berserk. Because Strike is 12 fatigue. It's 24 fatigue if... if if Berserk procs, uh, you recover 15, so yeah, let's go Berserk. Otwin, level 3 archer. Let's go with Steelbrow. Heimrads, earn some time off. Sixty-nine, at level eight. Yikes! It's a lot worse than I realised. Okay, now Olaf, you don't need to carry the hawk. Your morale just ain't good enough. Hand axes are nice, I'm pleased with that. What do you have here, Geralt? I think you can pop that on there. There you go, six vision, way better. Uh, don't I have another one? I do not. Is it just me or the nets auto re equipping? They should be. No, no, they're not. Sergeant Vander. Uh, we have enough bandages. Carry some poison. Benjamin Zvine.
I was hoping for some wood. Uh, arrows. Onward. To Subingen, but it's stopping at Stolhoven for some tools. That was a great fight. The undead fights have always been my favorite. Uh, well, the, the, the Wiedegänger fights with some of the big stuff mixed in. 19 Ifrit. Uh, that's a no thanks from me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 140 tools. Okay, 19, they're actually paying really well. Price is looking good. Cheers, boys. You've earned it. I think I'll be happier to take on Ifrit like that once we have uh, the kite shields up front. They punch very, very hard. Although, actually, a lot of the times the attacks you are taking against you from Ifrit are those ranged attacks. They throw rocks at you. This is a hell of a big patrol, isn't it? Three skull noble undead fight. No thanks. I choose life. Uh, worth one hundred. Okay, good. That's the ambition done. It shouldn't be too long um, until. Oh, you can't paint those. Okay. What was I saying? It shouldn't be too long until. These other archers can start using bows. Ralston just leads level 9 and then he'll take bow mastery. He can switch to a hunting bow. Otwin, it'll be a while. Uh, no armor. We don't have an armor here. Oh, look at it. Custody Avenger, 50 to 70. So base damage, 35 and 72. So it's only slightly more effective against armor. That is an outrageous price for such a comparatively crap legendary bow. Three skull, six day escort, that's unlikely to be successful. Deliver have a cargo to Trogenschacht. We'll do that instead. What do we have? Shreds. No thanks. Run away bravely. Those are some late game nerds. Now, should we be clearing out ruins as we find them? Assuming we have um, armor and hit points. Like yes and no. Okay. The thought bore down on you from the start, and it is one that escapes many a mercenary captain. A thought so simple that perhaps its very simplicity camouflages it from a sword wielding leader's ego. If the king's men is to be travelling from city to city looking for cell sword work, that may as already have one foot in another vocation altogether, that of trade. You picked up on it quick, realizing that goods carry a different sort of currency than which appears at face. 
a value hidden from the eye and hidden in the ripple ripples of time and location themselves. Now you spend the evening struggling to tabulate the crowns. For once, it's a good problem to have. And that's the bottom line. Yikes. Prices would be shit here. Yeah, all the bad stuff happening in this. I think once we complete this, we can upgrade the cart. I mean, we're sitting on 6,000, soon to be 7,000. Or we start buying tier 3 weapons and armor. Okay, yikes. Secure remote gravestones. Find remote gravestones. <laughs> Not far to the north. Scree barrows, you say. Uh, they want to do an archery contest. All right, fine. Excellent. Range skill for a bit of ammo. I'll always take that. Some armored and many ancient legionaries. No thanks. Goblin raiders, barbarians. Cheers, barbarians. Good lads. Ooh. That could actually be a pretty easy fight. But whenever I find undead like that, my preference is to just leave it there. Because the villagers around it can quite often give you the go there fetch the thing mission which is really just free money for a second i thought that that was salt i'm like i might have to pay i'm sorry uh, food ground grains like 600 for grains you lost your damn mind Right, cart or tier 3 weapons and armor. I think tier 3 weapons and armor. And dags. Thousand gold on dags. Do you like dags? What? Fucking dag! Oh, dogs. Yeah, I like dogs. If any of you have never watched Snatch, what is wrong with you? Fatigue, defense, strong. Would be a good tank, but we already have a decent tanks. Uh, hmm. Two men to master the hammer. Arena, let's help finish the undead. I think I've just got to wait for it to finish now. I mean, obviously we can contribute towards finishing it, but... Retrieve the artifact from ancient ruins to the south. Uh, that, I suspect, is going to be too difficult for us. I think those type of missions is the mission where you go there, and then the thing you want is not there. So you have to go somewhere else, and then it's a fucking scary fight. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, so loads more plat shields needed still. Heater shields, excuse me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of want to go to a nine and seven formation. Can I yet? Not yet. Vildrick isn't ready. One, two, three, four, four, six. So three more needed at least. One, two, three, four. Five, six. And three more kite shields needed as well. I could have sworn we had way more kite shields. Good, so now all the archers have a dog that they can drop and they can fancy feet away from an enemy. 
Timerad, the Dagger Lad. Geralt, Olaf, Ditelm, Tull. Yeah, I need to, I need to fire Kipper. That's tempting. But I don't think it's really worth it. Okay, 74 accuracy. So the whips actually only need to be in the inventory if we know we're going to be fighting geists. I mean, although it is nice if you have to move off the front line to have a weapon that you can attack from the back line with, but 92 fatigue, 89, it's 3 fatigue. It's fine, 3 fatigue, it's fine. And I'm fairly certain this means now that we can start fighting uh, the nightmare creatures. I have enough uh, long range melee weapons. I do love a good fighting spear. A good three headed flail. Level four, the lowest one we have. Good. Wilderich, lowest level. 360. Mmm. Oof, tempting, but not for that price. Are we at the point yet where we can start looking for legendary items? Level eight, level eight, level five. Mm. I think once everybody is like level 7, we'll start legendary hunting. I mean, I could now, I absolutely could. But it's, it's risky, and I just truly don't want to lose anyone. Also, <clears throat> I could pick a noble house to essentially become enemies against and start ambushing their supply caravans for some nice tier 3 weapons. Well, not tier 3, but I mean, like, you get good weapons and armor, you get kite shields, heater shields reliably. Um, you get bull hooks pretty reliably. It's extremely profitable as well. And you're essentially just getting a head start on the noble conflict. But I think I would also prefer straight level 7s on the front line for that. Uh, remote gravestones. Let's do this. I think we can do this. How's morale? Not bad. Kipper, thank you for your service. Go and enjoy your retirement. You tried very hard, but you were just fucking garbage, mate. Off you go. Soldier with quick hands. Okay, good. If he's got quick hands, that means he can now start using a crossbow. This ought to be a Nachtzer fight. Maybe it's undead, maybe it's legionaries. It's probably just going to be Nachtzers. So assuming it's Nachtzers. I think the weapons are fine, like lots of swords, it's great, great sword tank, great sword tank, 56.
Archer's in the center, yeah, Rabe. Good. You get to jump on the grave robbers, drawing swords as they slam shovels into the earth. One of the men, presumably sensing he's about to join the very grave he's got one foot already in, bargains with you. Apparently, the men have a map to a mysterious treasure. All you have to do is let them go, and they'll let you have it. If you kill them, well, the map is hidden too, and you'll never see sight of it nor the treasure it leads to. So I think that this means that it gives you a chance for a fight with a legendary item, but like we have no idea what's in there. And we're gonna find plenty of legendaries. So kill them all. Again, if I was a little bit stronger, if I had straight level sevens all the way on the front, then it'd be a different story. Oh shit, that tier two crossbow is gonna hit some of these boys with their heater shields. It's so good to see their front line charging us, and, and I think a lot of that is down to the fact that we have so many one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ranged weapons in the back line. So like if only my three actual archers had their ranged weapons out, um, I'm, I'm fairly certain that they would all have just stood where they are. It's another reason just to have, you know, a quick little one-shot crossbow for some of your boys. I think it's well worth, but if I get the shot off, I can't move forward and stab with the battle standard. Has he got polar mastery? He does. I could move one square forward and maybe get an attack off. Ah, oh, I fucked it. Okay, no. If I had Pathfinder, I could have. So, 3 AP. Okay, I could have sworn Shoot Bolt used to be 2 AP. Am I rem remembering wrong? What? Tanky dude must tank, tank a tank like a tank. Ah, oh, curses. Six, seventy-one, seventy-four. Great headshot. And detail me. You need to just hold the center. Ooh, scary. Yeah, nice. Oh, hits the head. Unlucky. <laughs> nice one. That's scary. That brigand raider. Till at least has steel brow. Struth. God, those throwing axes. That's good. We'll just ignore him. Do a bit of murdering later on him. Good. That got the morale break. 66, 55, net, net, fucking head hits, man, I swear the head hits are bloody griefing us, oh. excellent. Good reaping. T 
turn done. So I think we wait, actually. These lads should come forward. Jenks just hold position. Oh, great hit. No. Oh, how did that not injure him? Fucker. Uh, detail, disarm, or stab. I think stab. Because we just need one more hit and his morale should shatter. Right, this motherfucker needs to die next. Should I should check whether that bull hook, uh, that pull ability has plus chance to hit, because it might have been better to move this lad to get him to drop his shield wall. Um, I want his armor. Mm. Wait, I should be able to... How many AP? Four. See, if I throw this here now, I only get the one shot. Oh no, I can't go there. Here we go. He needs to go down, this lad. He's being a pain. Oh, Struth, that's scary. No, oh, you lucky bugger. Oh. Oh, God, he's not reposting anymore, is he? I don't pay enough attention to repost. I'll go get him. Oh, so very nearly a one shot. <laughs> oh, pierced side, pierced hand, injured shoulder. I could probably kill him with a javelin, but I don't want to damage that armor. Down you go, lad. Down you go. <laughs> Fuck, throwing weapons are so great. Oh, lads. Game. Down you go, big boy. Give me that tier three cleaver. So glad once this undead crisis is over. Bloody annoying these things are. Oh.
One little wee zombie left. Too exhausted to attack. I know this isn't any sort of scary fight at all, but I'm very pleased with how the lads are performing now. We're starting to get there. We're almost not shit. Nice, let the scale. Pretty good. What's that worth? Um, less than I thought, honestly. Right. Geralt, the level 9 greatsword user. I should actually be taking some ranged defense in them. I mean, if I want them to use two-handed weapons, then... I might have to try to justify anticipation. 1 plus 10% of your base range defense as additional range defense per tile. And always at least 10 to range defense. Because if it's holding just a greatsword, then... Uh, those, uh, those arrows getting shot at you can be quite a problem. What's next for the tank lad? I think sword mastery. Just to spread that fatigue around a little. God. Oh god. Oh, 46. Okay, right, never mind. But plus one. So, Geralt, the great sword user. I think he is going to be a heavy armor lad, isn't he? Yeah, almost certainly. Let's go Battle Forge and then we'll go back for Brawny. Nine Battle Forged, Brawny at 10, Killing Frenzy at 11. And then oh, I'd like Underdog, but that leaves him without Indom. Damage reduction and immunity to being stunned, knocked back, or grabbed for one turn, but. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go for Battle Forged. This is only vision minus one. Yes, correct. Good, good, good. Although, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll give that there and that there to not impede vision of these crossbow shooting lads so much. And like Rabe as well, to impede his vision or Malik. Okay, good. So they can shoot at six. Vildrich can use the nasal helmet. Basically, if they're shooting a crossbow, they need a padded kettle. Or, worst case, had a dented nasal helm. Who's missing a helmet here? Someone's missing a helmet. Uh, nope. Uh, 
Oh, so I did end up going for sword mastery on the tanks. I was saying I wasn't going to take a weapon spec. I probably shouldn't have. <clears throat> oh, that was a waste, wasn't it? Well, you can attack twice and be fatigue neutral. That was a mistake, wasn't it? I shouldn't have taken that weapon spec. Five. I'm happy with that. Okay, lads, I gotta go. Got a phone call. See you tomorrow for your daily dose of Battle Brothers.